Kiora Aotearoa. This is the national weather forecast headed your way from Met Service. It's a fairly benign day today, Thursday, the 26th of January. Bit of rain hitting some western parts of the South Island. Welcome rain down there after a dry start to the year. Relatively clear at the moment across most other places, but not staying that way. A lot of cloud building to the north of the country that's associated with a low, which is going to bring extensive rain in the next 24 to 48 hours across the North Island. Many of these northern and northeastern parts of Te Ika Amaui, the North Island, have had a lot of rain already through the first couple of weeks of this year, and so we are going to be adding a lot more rain on top of that. That is likely to exacerbate things like slips and road closures and could add more flooding to these very wet areas. Heavy rain warnings are in place for Northland, Coromandel and parts of the Bay of Plenty, with watches in place elsewhere. You can find the full details about that at our designated severe weather video on the main website. Let's get into the details for Friday starting up north. It will be raining before the sun gets up across Northland and then through the morning that rain drifts this way through Auckland, Coromandel, Bay of Plenty, Waikato picking up rain before lunch. Taupo might be dry through the morning, Gisborne certainly looking dry as well. In the afternoon that rain keeps migrating down this way so it gets wet for pretty much everyone. Again Gisborne might dodge the wet weather but everyone else is certainly looking at some rainfall. Eventually there'll be a clearance through parts of Northland but it stays pretty wet elsewhere. The backdrop to all this rain is a strong blustery northeast wind which could particularly blow strongly through Auckland. A fine start for the lower North Island on Friday. Cloud cover will thicken up though through the course of the morning and then from around about lunchtime we will start to see the rain have an impact here. Beginning around Taranaki, maybe 11 or 12 uh, through the first half of the day, then into the afternoon. It's moving this way into Whanganui, Manawatu, Kapiti as well. Given the direction of the rain coming in from here and moving across this way, it's the eastern and southern spots, Napier, Wairarapa, Wellington, which are the last places to get wet weather, and it might not arrive in those areas until fairly late, sometime after 8 or 9 p.m. To the South Island, bright start for most here, bit of cloud around, but plenty of sunshine as well. However, we will see showers approach from two angles in the second half of the day. First off, we get some showers in from the north likely to hit Nelson, Tasman, maybe parts of Marlborough too. Then late afternoon, early evening, we get showers up from the southwest uh, through Christchurch, through Canterbury. Most of the wet weather here will fall on inland parts of the country with maybe one or two brisk showers through Christchurch and other coastal places. But you certainly will notice a temperature drop along this eastern coastline with the southerly flow. 28 degrees in Christchurch will fall away to something like 17. Looking further south, we've got a spell of wet weather here, all of these places really, either in the morning or early afternoon as a couple of frontal bands slide northwards, bringing some pulses of showers with them. As the afternoon does wear on though, we will see this rain move north and eventually clear the area. So brighter conditions through the second half of the day for most of these spots. The sun comes out, the wind dies away. It will be cooler though than what you see here in the maximum temperatures. Once that southerly establishes itself, I think the second half of the day you'll be uh, sitting in the teens for your temperatures. Let's take a look now at Saturday and it really continues to be a day of two halves with further wet weather across the North Island, persistent heavy falls in places. Meanwhile, high pressure across the South Island brings a settled and sunny day there. So all areas of the North Island could get some rain on Saturday. The spots which look to pick up the most rain where it's heavy and persistent is between Tamaki Makoto, Auckland and about Lake Taupo here. So it's the central area, including the likes of Coromandel, Waikato, parts of Bay of Plenty that really could get some further heavy falls on Saturday with some thunderstorms too. There's the chance of a few thunderstorms across Northland but the day should brighten up there as it progresses. Everyone else sort of from this uh, northeastern corner here around through Gisborne, wide up a Wellington, you've got often cloudy skies and some intermittent wet weather but certainly getting some sunshine in there too and some finer spells as the day wears on. Contrast that with this, the South Island has a much more settled day on Saturday. Certainly some out in the morning, particularly along this eastern coastline. One or two showers through Canterbury at first as well, but they're clearing up. The day becomes nice and sunny. Temperatures are around 20 degrees along this eastern seaboard, but warmer than that for central and western places. In particular, it's looking to be another hot day for Westland. Hokitika, 27 degrees. Lots happening with our weather over the coming couple of days, so do take care, especially if you're planning to travel around that long weekend up there in the far north of the country. You can always get more weather info though, and see the extended outlook too at metservice.com. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Kia pai te rā.